this extraordinary indictment yesterday by the Department of Justice against Twitter, uh, Twitter employees who were working for Saudi Arabia. This is an extraordinary story, Judy. This is the first time that U.S. prosecutors have accused Saudi Arabia of surveilling people inside the United States. The story is basically two Twitter employees, one of whom is a U.S. citizen, accused of accessing info that we give to Twitter, our private information basically, and sending that to the Saudi government. And the specific user's info they accessed, those were activists, those were dissidents, those were people critical of the Saudi government. So bottom line, this is Saudi, the Saudi Arabian government basically infiltrating Twitter to contact and persecute its critics. Earlier this year, my colleague Leila Karan and I, we sat down with multiple of these Saudi critics. We interviewed actually right. dozens of people about this crackdown, and that crackdown went not only on Twitter, but used Twitter to go beyond Twitter. So we talked about the real life ways that Saudi was pressuring some of its critics, and we talked to one critic, Abdullah Aloud, here in DC. And how has the Saudi government targeted you while you're in the United States? I get threats uh, every day from uh, uh, Twitter accounts that a lot of people uh, think uh, somehow associated to the Saudi government. I mean, just today I got, uh, for example, a threat from a Twitter account saying that we're going to uh, lock you up uh, and we're going to find you and we're going to bring you back and, and put you in a cell next to your father. <laughs> Aluda's father, Salman, is an outspoken activist and scholar who's released his own videos and called for a change in the Saudi government. He was arrested and now faces the death penalty. Aluda said his father's interrogators mentioned him during interrogation. Talking to uh, somebody about his son uh, and saying that we're going to arrest him, we're going to torture him, we're going to do this and that to him, it's a way of uh, intimidation and pressure. And have they also tried to pressure you? Yes, because uh, they try to send the message that whatever you do uh, is going to be reflected on my father and how they deal with my father. Alode says how the Saudis deal with him here is surveillance. He says in 2016, before a public event, he was approached by another Saudi citizen who said he was there to spy and report back. The Saudi government has no limits. So if you're dealing with somebody like this, it's just scary. And we spoke to Abdullah Aloud today, Judy, and he was still receiving Twitter threats just today. Wow. So, Nick, what is the evidence? Is there evidence that this online surveillance is actually being conducted by the Saudi government? The indictment is very specific. It says the main recruiter of these two Twitter employees was a Saudi official and heads the private office of Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. He is basically described as a secretary of Mohammed bin Salman and one of the people who control Mohammed bin Salman's private money. Bottom line, Judy, this is part of a global campaign by Saudi Arabia to silence its critics. And I should just mention Twitter sent us a statement. They understand, according to them, that there are bad actors. They are trying to limit some of their employees' access to sensitive information, and they are committed to protecting users' freedom of speech, but obviously that failed in this case. Remarkable. Just remarkable. Two really important stories. Nick Schifrin, thank you. Thank you.